It was a very normal day at the Tema port on Thursday. Unlike Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, when freight forwarders were agitated over the new charges, the atmosphere was calm as clearing agents went about their usual duties. A supposed 10.9% increase in cargo handling charges had reportedly metamorphosed into a 200% increase, a situation that angered freight forwarders who staged a protest and demanded government intervention. Various stakeholders, such as the Ghana Institute of Freight Forwarders, GIF, and importers and exporters engaged the Transport Ministry and the Ghana Ports and Harbors Authority. The minister, at the end of the engagement, directed GPHA to immediately reverse and reduce some of the charges implemented on December 2. Key among the intervention is for GPHA to reduce the tariff increment to 40% across board, seize upfront charges on red channel containers, seize calculating shore handling charges in dollars, and also desist from charging double transport charges on containers. This intervention has been met with some mixed reaction by freight forwarders. Oh, the minister's intervention, I would say it's, it's, very, it's very bad at this time of the day when imports are not coming and people are crying here and there that there's no money in the system. For you to increase tariff over, I would say over 100 percent, close to, close to about 150 percent, and then when people petition you or when people demonstrate, you reduce to 40 percent. Even the 40 percent is so it's on a higher note. How can you increase? How can you increase uh, tariff to 40 percent? It's very bad. It's really very bad because currently the work is not coming. We freight forwarders in, uh, depend on importers to get work to do. So if uh, tariffs go up like this and importers cannot uh, import more. Uh, adversely, it's going to really affect uh, with the, uh, with the uh, freight forwarders. So uh, the government should look at it again and then we even slash it further. We got the 40% the itself is it, it, going to have a ripple effect on importers. All the shipping lines charge, they all have exorbitant uh, rates they use. Even that, they cannot control them as to the rates they should use. Every shipping line, when you go to them, they all have rates, dollar rates they use. And then they say they are regulating their activities. What activities are they regulating? So I would like even to take it from uh, the shippers' authority level that all the tariff that uh, they give to us is in dollars. And wherever you go to, they all have their rates. Even that, they cannot really, uh, how do you call it, uh, put it on a, on a better pedestal. And then they are talking about this. That's why it's just, uh, it's just something that they are talking about. We like what the minister did about uh, 40 percent uh, to ask the terminal give us about 11 percent of the increment but so far it's almost 200 and something percent the minister came inside he came inside to limit the um, Increment small, but right now they say 40 percent. Fine, we 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 handle it like that. But we want the minister to investigate investigate the the term, the, the terminus charges well because apart from what we pay for here, if you especially Gapua, if you read the we have another charges for them. The charges for them, if be there, they will tell you uh, fitting of ties, uh, what do you call it? Extra movement, what the it's, it's, it's more charges. They have to investigate it, then do something about it. The chairman of the Tema chapter of the Ghana Institute of Freight Forwarders, GIF, Alex Esiama, commended the transport minister for the timely intervention. In fact, it was a big thing for importers and then exporters, and for that matter, we the freight forwarders, when the news broke up that uh, the terminal handling charges had been increased by over 100%. Uh, we took the initiative by meeting the minister. In fact, the minister invited us. So we met and we discussed with some of the major stakeholders. 
all these charges that we were talking about um, we were made to believe after all the committee meetings that was done we were made to believe that 10.9 percent was the the tariff increase and that was even published in the newspapers so only for us to see our invoices coming out um, on Monday more than 100 percent so that is where we're not comfortable with and then this meeting has to come up so we met last Tuesday and then we met uh, we couldn't finish and then the minister asked us to meet again on the that is yesterday so we finished everything yesterday and I believe it was difficult to be honest with you because of the contract the existing contract and what is in there but the minister did so well to get certain things done and gave gave some kind of directive for it to take effect uh, on the face that is today the technical committee member of GIF Johnny Mante says they have received a copy of the fourth shadow which is supposed to capture all the items that would attract the announced 40 percent tariff reduction GPH their tariff they have about 200 tariff lines even with the just just the, this is just the fourth shadow and this is over 15 to 20 pages just, just the fourth shadow if you, you would find direct handling indirect handling you would have um, and the, 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 with direct hand, indirect handling alone you can find lift lifts of up to 10 tons lifts of up to 20 tons it, it's a whole it's something that you have to take your time and, and go through 20 footer containers 40 footer containers flat bodies name them you would also go find out they, they even have what you call tie fixing fees um, on stuffing fees, all those things are part of the tariff that you have to actually take a look at and scrutinize. So the 40% is basically for the fourth shadow. What we are at the moment going to, like I told you, going to do is we're, we're just sitting down. We, the tariff just came out uh, some few hours ago. In fact, they've done well. I understand they sat out throughout the night, as per the uh, instruction of the, uh, the minister, they sat out through the night to come out with this. So it's up to us also to go through it one after the other 15 page of over 200 line items to go through it and ensure that what are the 40%, what are the gains that are being made, and the items that have been brought back to um, the UAM, um, Ghana cities. And of course, this will be based on the 2018 tariff. It is a 2018 tariff that they have adjusted 40, they have moved up 40%. So we have to ensure that these things are what has been churned out. However, the Executive Secretary of the Importers and Exporters Association, Samson Asaki Awingobit, who is equally excited about the minister's intervention, cautioned MPS to comply with the directive. We have seen the letter that GPJ has issued to MPS, asking MPS to, as a matter of fact, to suspend and revert to the, uh, the 2018, where they were doing it in cities and not in dollarization. I have seen some of my colleagues started complaining that Something ha some have been taken off, but some are still running. I, I am yet to gather information or data. And so that when we get there, maybe by Monday, we can also come out to say whether they have actually complied or not. But I would want to throw a caution to MPS. They cannot take us for granted. Some of us, you can't take us for granted. And we want them to respect the minister's decision. We will also respect the minister's decision by not running them down. And so it should be a win-win situation to all of us. And that is why we are looking forward. I'm hoping that GPHA will use their, all their powers within their ambits to make sure that MPS adhere to it. For City News, my name is Elvis Washington reporting from Temaport. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to our City TV YouTube channel for more videos on the business dashboard. Tune in and stay updated on the key business news stories of the day with Business Dashboard every weekday at 7 p.m. only on City TV.